Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Have you ever heard of a racket called an ellipse fusion? I think it was one of those like $400 rackets from the 90s. Uh, I just got one from my buddy, Tony Bryant. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So, coffee sponsor of today, Tony Bryant. Tony writes, Hi there. I love all your videos on YouTube. They are very informative and fun to watch. I love your sense of humor. Am I funny? I feel like Joe Pesci. You think that's funny? You think I'm funny? Am I a joke? Yeah, I know I am. <laughs> Anyways, I was wondering if you have any information on the tennis racket I have. It is old ellipse sport fusion that I bought back in the 90s. I just found it packed away and I'm going to get it restrung for my granddaughter that plays with her high school team. I cannot find much info about it online. Have you ever done a video on that that I'm not finding? Oh, thank you in advance. Tony from Florida. Jim Courier's hometown. <laughs> All right, Tony. So Tony and I went back and forth and he actually sent me the racket. So I'm actually going to mess with it. But before I cut it up, if you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Link is below. If you want to support the channel and support my humor and my comedy show, super thanks could be the way for you. If you just hit the button down below, you can donate to my comedy club and keep the funnies coming. All right. Thank you in advance. Yeah, I never thought about doing stand up in my freaking like a uh, Seinfeld or something. I don't know how he does it. it it's it's kind of hard to make people laugh all the time. It's just that's too much stress. I'd rather be a doctor or something and, and be stressed out at being brain surgery or something like that. <laughs> It's like, oh yeah, that doctor, I was just in like a eight hour surgery. I'm like, damn, eight hour surgery. At least you weren't in front of an audience being like either laughed at or booed at, you know, that's more stressful to me than performing some kind of surgery. Tony, you should have been a professional packer. You did a great job. Maybe you worked at Macy's or something as a gift wrapping. Okay. Whoa, dang. <laughs> Look at you go. You work at UPS store? Whoa. 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 Okay. Oh. It's a wide body. Look at that. That's a perfect egg shape. Whoa, Tony, my boy, my man. Uh, <laughs> that's a thick, thick racket for one thing. Uh, 24, 25, 26. That's thunder stick level power right there. Um, what grip size is this? Feels small. Maybe old day quarter. I'll put a grip on that for you. Um, first thought is uh, your granddaughter probably shouldn't be using this thing. <laughs> Winning never been, felt better. Okay. Ellipse sport. 
All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a grip on it first and then see if I can get some numbers out of this, okay? So hold tight. All right. Print synthetic gut, 16 gauge, probably back in the day. I can't read it. Looks like it was like 60. No, I don't know, I can't tell. <laughs> it's, it's all worn out. Woo, 357. <laughs> okay. 12.6, wow. That's like fed weight there, strong fed weight. Might be a little on the heavy side there. Let's see if it's head light enough. Oh, that's how they're balancing it out with the headlight. 323. All right, so let's go hit this swing weight. Okay. Swing weight this puppy. Whew, 356. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at some numbers. All right, I've never done this on video before, but there's a first for everything. Calipers. I'm going to be an architect now. So this measures thickness. I'm interested in how thick this thing is. So let's see if I can give it you an angle and give myself an angle. Um, Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Is that possible? It is. Jeez. Twenty-eight millimeters on this thing. So thick, like wide body from back in the day. Hmm. So I did a little bit of research um, about the the racket and the company. Well, first of all, <laughs> heavy, eh, not horrible. A lot of weight coming through. Not as stiff as I thought it would be, but definitely this could be a different racket from, from what I was researching. So that thing is 28 on the beam. 28 on the beam is thick. 28 mm beam. Okay, so this probably not that, that's my guess, okay? This is just from my research. My guess is it's like 70 and up. Um, so these are all like pro level numbers. Like we're talking fed numbers here. So that's a very, very heavy racket. Uh, thick beam though, so that's power. <laughs> Now, let's talk about, um, oh shoot, something just caught my eye. There's shared holes in this thing. Look at this. One, two, three, four shared on the top, nothing shared on the bottom. I don't want to say this is a nightmare string, but it could be a nightmare if you don't know what you're doing. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's an 18 main. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. What? It's an 18 by 21 pattern. There's a lot of string in this thing. All right. So it looks to be a 100 square inch head that gobbles up a lot of string. Um, Jesus. Okay. So what I know about the company is that they try to use a thing called Spectra 
which is a special fiber that they blend with you know, carbon or graphite, that spectra is supposed to dampen. So it's good for tennis elbow, it's good for shock, it's good for eliminating vibration. Um, the company actually produced rackets in the US and I think after a while it just kind of cost too much to continue doing that and then they kind of slowly and quietly kind of went away. I personally didn't know of the racket company and I didn't know of this racket so um, until Tony told me about the uh, the racket that he just found I I mean I could have ran into this a few times and not even you know blinked an eye but this thing made in America once four hundred dollars so um, let's go test it out Let, let's see how it actually feels uh, let's see you on the court All right, so we just got off the court with the Fusion Ellipse uh, from Tony Bryant there in Florida. So, Tony, these strings were in here since 92 or 3, like you said, the original strings. We played yesterday, and it literally broke in 15 minutes. <laughs> so, we had some footage, but Rob hit with it for 10 minutes, and then when it got to me, it went punk, and I was like, ah, crap. So I promised Tony I would restring it for him anyways, which I just did. And I chose head velocity 17 gauge in black. And I chose to string it at 55 pounds because <laughs> it's this thick a la Wilson profile. So we're going to, we just took it again for another spin to see if a new string job at a tight tension, newer, fresher tension, would make a difference to the racket. So, Coach Rob, what'd you think of the uh, Fusion Ellipse? Freshly strung. Freshly strung. Uh, it felt better than the ones with the strings in it from uh, back in the 90s. Um, the egg shape was uh, a little interesting to hit with. Um, but it felt very like a lot of uh, dampening in it. It was very soft. Um, it's you know on the heavy side, but when you hit it, it felt really easy on the arm, and um, ball kind of jumped off the racket a little bit. So, yeah, I'm sure the the newer strings made it feel better than it did yesterday. But um, yeah, interesting racket, interesting frame. So this company made rackets in the u.s so it was it was a small company um trying to be revolutionary trying to be powerful dampened um kind of a boutique racket company back in the day they these things were not cheap like back in the day they were like prince boron type Ooh. of pricing yikes <laughs> so those were expensive yeah. but I mean, obviously, they were trying to, you know, go with the trend. Power, smaller head for more control. So here's the other thing. When I restrung this ragged, look at how many strings there are. There's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of crosses. It was 21 Ooh. crosses and a, lot, a bunch of shared holes over here. So it wasn't fun to string. <laughs> it didn't look it, like it. It took me a lot longer than I anticipated to string this racket. It, it Did was, you get about halfway through and wonder why you weren't done yet? I was, no, on the end here, I was like, why are these so 
tight together and it was like one string was in the other way of the other string coming in mm. it took me a while to finish up these two crosses on the bottom because they were so tight inside here going in so the string was definitely in the way and um, it was like like right in here as you can see like getting right in there getting right in there that one um, those shared holes really kind of got into my way. So I took a lot longer than I anticipated stringing this racket. Yeah, share up here. Yep. Share here, share here, share here. So it brought me back to my earlier days of stringing when I was like, oh, who thinks of these damn rackets? <laughs> so it makes me appreciate more of the, the newer rackets and how they make it easier to string now. Right. So it looks actually like a wooden racket, like, like, like on the ends, these three, it kind of comes outward, inward, outwards like this. Right. So they kind of took some wooden racket technology stringing and a profile and put it together. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but racket actually, it was good. It reminded me of a profile 95. Right. The original profile 2.795. Same heft too. Yeah, I didn't know. If, I didn't think it maybe had the same amount of power, but it definitely had more um, uh, cushion to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think what they did here in the top and this here definitely softened it a bit, gave it more dampening. Yeah, it wasn't just straight up rock. <laughs> right. But that's it, man. It's it's good racket. Thank you, Tony, for sharing this racket. I've actually never heard of this racket until uh, you mentioned it. Um, Unfortunately, I don't think they're around anymore today. Uh, yeah, from what I read and what Tony has shared with me. All right. Thank you, Tony, for the racket. It's on its way back to you. Coach Rob, thanks for hanging out with me today. Sure. As always, I appreciate it. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. What the hell? Harry! Harry! What? Is that you? Yeah! What's going on? What are you doing here? I got stuck. Ah! Uh, uh, you're too squishy! Uh, Come on, little dude. I'm working at it. Come oh, on. man!